Hi guys, welcome back to a new Boom Beach video. I hope you all are having a good Saturday. Today guys, I am here on my low level account and today is gonna be my last day with these little guys. Now, I'll record a video tomorrow or whatever, but it's gonna be on my main account and it's gonna be a special video for you guys, so stay tuned for that. Guys, in my last video, I outlined why I thought the Melon Bombardiers are the best troop in Boom Beach. And I asked you guys to tell me what troop you think was better than those troops. And a lot of you guys have given me your opinion. So I'm gonna go over that and uh, go down your list and debunk some of those players and maybe agree with you on some of them. So I literally read the comments before this video and I have a bunch fresh in my mind, ready to go. So the first one I thought was super interesting and actually never really tried this before is Scorchers, Zookas, and one boat of Cryonier. So this player said he was at like 1.3 thousand medals, 1300 medals, and uses three boats of Scorchers. Of course, these are maxed out landing crabs, maxed out Scorchers. That's six total Scorchers. Four boats of Zookas, one boat of Cryoneers. And one of the reasons I think it's so interesting is because I've never tried that combination after we got the level 24 landing crabs. You know, I tried that combination of many times before then, and it just was never worth it. You would have three Scorchers, you'd have four Scorchers if you choose to go four boats, and it, it would be tough because you wouldn't really have a lot of Scorchers. But now that they lowered the cap, the landing space cap for a Scorcher down to 12 and also increased um, the landing craft space up to level 24. That means we can hold two Scorchers in each boat and I am for sure gonna try this sometime on my main account where it's maxed out. I think it's a good combination just by hearing about it. That player said he can defeat anyone no matter what ice, whatever. And I think that's interesting. So. Let's actually look at some of the top players and see if they're using that combination too. Okay, nope. He's using Melon Bombardiers and Riflemen. Okay, Melon Bombardiers and Riflemen. Uh, okay, this player is saving gold. That's why he loads up all medics. Okay, Bombardiers and Riflemen. That's actually crazy. I didn't know Bombardiers and Riflemen are a meta, but it looks like everyone here is using the Melon Bombardiers and Riflemen. Here's a player that has Scorchers, so interesting. So, you know, do I think Zookas, Scorchers, and Cryoneers are better than the Melon Bombardiers? No, no, I'm just gonna say it there. All of the top players are using Melon Bombardiers. Now, there's really no way for me to know they're using Melon Bombardiers and not normal Bombardiers, but I mean, use your, use your brain just for a second. Melon Bombardiers deal over twice the amount of damage than normal Bombardiers. So, of course they're using Melon Bombardiers. So yes, Melon Bombardiers still better than that combination that player brought up. I don't even have to be 1300 medals. The top players are using Melon Bombardiers over it. So I'm gonna take Melon Bombardiers. Okay, that was combination one. Another person said Lasertrons. Guys, I hate Lasertrons, okay? They might be good at a lower level, but as soon as you move up and you're attacking higher level players, Lasertrons are trash. They barely deal any damage. They're very hard to play with. They run all over the place. I'm just kind of making things up right now, but they are um, a weaker troop. They're not very strong. So that's why I don't like Lasertrons. I'll take Melon Bombardiers and regular Bombardiers any day over Lasertrons. I'm not a huge fan of Lasertrons. Another person said Rainmakers. And I want to talk about this a little more because, you know, when I was talking about why I think Rainmakers are worse than Melon Bombardiers in my last video, I don't think I did justice to it. Okay, I was editing and I was like, okay, I feel like this might have been a little confusing and the reason I don't like Rainmakers might be a little confusing. So I'm gonna try to break that down for you. Rainmakers are a very good troop. They're very, very strong. But what makes them strong is they can stand out of range of everything. They don't um, stand close to any buildings, like really only like rocket launchers, boom cannons, shock launchers, prototypes can take down uh, Rainmakers, which is cool. That's awesome. That's one of the main benefits of Rainmakers. But one of the downsides to Rainmakers is the amount of damage they deal. They don't deal a lot of damage compared to a troop like Melon Bombardiers. 
So as soon as you start coming up on players that have a ton of HP statues, a ton of blue statues, Rainmakers are just not gonna perform very well. And also there's not really a support troop you can bring to help you use Rainmakers better. The biggest issue with Rainmakers, again, is rocket launchers, boom cannons, shock launchers, and prototypes. And uh, typically you would bring all Rainmakers and bullet energy drink. But bullet energy drink dies so fast because every other defense is hitting him and just getting slaughtered. So there are very good reasons why I don't like uh, or I don't think Rainmakers are better than the Melon Bombardiers. But guys, like Rainmakers are really good still. Rainmakers are one of the best troops inside of Boom Beach. I never said they weren't. They are very strong still, but not as strong as Melon Bombardiers. Okay, we'll just take down that. Perfect. And we'll try to focus on the core. And we'll watch that core drop very, very fast. We only have three Melon Bombardiers left, but we're just dominating that core. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, another big troop people said that is better than the Rainmakers, better than the Melon Bombardiers, all of that stuff is the Lowly Heavy Chopper. Now, let me break that down for you. I think Heavy Chopper is a really good troop inside of the main base, um, but as soon as you get up higher in metals, you're starting to attack players that have a ton of ice. Heavy Choppers just don't stand up to that. They barely deal any damage. That's the main issue. You need a troop that deals damage if you're gonna bring Heavy Choppers. And you have to bring Bombardiers or you have to bring Zookas. And Zookas would be so stupid because they stand at pretty much the same range as the Heavy Choppers. So if you're bringing Heavy Choppers, you pretty much have to bring uh, Bombardiers. So that's the reason I don't think Bombardiers are good. I guess you could bring tanks, um, but Bombardiers would be way stronger with Heavy Choppers anyway because they stand back farther. So there's that. So Metal Bombardiers being the best troop inside of Boom Beach does not come with downfalls. A lot of people were saying that, you know, Christian, yes, Metal Bombardiers probably the best troop inside of Boom Beach, but Melon Bombardiers are useless when you don't have instant training. And for that, I am partially agreeing with. And here's the deal, if you're gonna make Melon Bombardiers really, really work, you know, make it really strong, you need to, okay, this, um, this shock blast will probably be an issue later on, so we'll just start taking it out. You, you, you need to have a full boat of heavies also and that takes 30 minutes to train up so there's definitely something to be said for that if you're losing all your heavies each battle i would say pretty much every battle i play with bombardiers or with bombardiers or melon bombardiers pretty much every battle i lose all my heavies and that's part of it and i kind of agree that it would be really hard using this combination if you didn't have instant training. And I know a lot of you guys don't have instant training, and that's totally fine. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to point that out. I understand that Melon Bombardiers have their downfalls, but I don't want to consider that aspect, the training of it, part of the score I give them. Um, I don't want to downgrade their score, their strength score, because there are long to train up because then I think we can outlaw scorchers which take like a freaking hour or maybe they changed that in the latest update I really don't use scorchers much so I'm not quite sure there are also other troops that take a while like tanks so I don't want to consider that in my ranking system um, also a lot of people I guess you could use like Scorchers with uh, Heavy Choppers. I just thought about that. Scorchers and Heavy Choppers wouldn't be a bad combination. But again, I think both of those troops don't deal a lot of damage at a high level. As soon as players start getting a ton of ice, both of those troops will fall. Because like Heavy Choppers don't do any damage pretty much. Scorchers don't really deal much damage. They do deal a little bit of damage, but yeah, it's not much. So I hope... I debunked some, yeah, it takes 50 minutes for one of them. But I hope I debunked some of your theories on the best troop in Boom Beach. I mean, clearly, 
from the top players we saw earlier, Rifleman is better than Heavies. And I can tell you right now, I'm pretty sure I know what that combination looks like. You drop one boat of Rifleman, right? You drop all of your uh, Bombardiers, and as soon as the last Rifleman is walking off the beach, you drop the next boat of Rifleman, and you keep doing that. So you always have this constant line of Rifleman going into the base. So all the defenses are focused on the front line of those riflemen. No defenses are focused on your melon bombardiers or bombardiers or whatever, and you're just able to dominate the base. So yeah, I, I'm guessing that's probably what they're doing. Also throw in a medic to heal up the front line. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any rebuttals to what I've said, please drop them down below. And just remember, it's just having some good fun. Also, make sure you guys are using code COSMIC in the shop to help support us, and I will talk to you guys in the next Boom Beach video. Bye.